I'm pretty sure most of us know how important or how necessary a good cardigan is in our collection. Rather, it's a simple cardigan just to add another layer to your outfit or a really crazy piece. Either way, I'm sure most of us have that one cardigan or a few cardigans that we have in our collection that we know and love. Now, the piece I do have for you guys today is obviously going to be a cardigan. And I will say this is probably the most craziest piece I have in my collection so far. And that is the Steel Shag Cardigan from No Maintenance, of course. And all know the brand by now no minute but i hope you enjoyed the video we'll get a closer look at the cardigan a full review nothing too crazy like all the rest of the videos but i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like comment subscribe if you do enjoy this video but let's get straight into it before we get into this review let's all enjoy this wonderful wonderful cardigan Now for all the details and materials for this cardigan, you have a steel shag cardigan, slightly elongated arms and shoulders. It is a box and crop fit as well. You have your classic V-shaped neckline. You have your horn rim contrast buttons. You all know those buttons. I'll put a picture up if you don't know, but we've all seen these buttons before. And lastly, long hair yarn. Now for the material, you have 43% uh, acrylic, 20% wool, 18% polyester, 18% nylon, and 1% liquor. I don't know if I said that right. I would check, but it is what it is now starting from the very top of the car you obviously the no maintenance tag at the top but on the outside you do have that creamish vanilla color along the like outlines of the top of the cardigan that goes all the way down from the v-shaped neckline and then it goes all the way down to the bottom around the cardigan as well you also have it on your sleeves as well and as you can see that color really fits well with all the different Shades of reds, the creams, the, uh, even that hit of blue. I think that's a very uh, solid neutral color. Not to uh, throw off the rest of the colors of the piece, but or just have that neutral color to be a nice contrast with the rest of the cardigan. As you make your way down along the uh, cream or vanilla type color, you, you do see the rim horn contrast buttons. Obviously, you've seen these before. There's the regular buttons you usually get on different cardigans as well. And now getting into obviously the most interesting, crazy part of the piece, the different shades of red, the different shades of white, uh, cream, vanilla, off-white, whatever you wanna call it, you do have all those hits all along the cardigan. And you also do have that hit of blue on the right side or the left side, the left side I believe of the cardigan as well. And if you see my last video, I think this is the same exact blue they use on the flannel that I did do a review on this one right here. I think that's, if it's not the same, it's pretty close. And also they do have a blue cardigan that's all over blue in that same exact blue again. If not, like I said, if it's not that blue, it's pretty close to it. So I think it is a, a reoccurring pattern that they are using in their pieces that they have dropped uh, recently in the past. So I think that's interesting, or at least I realized it. I don't know if that has to do with anything at all, but as far as all the pieces they have for those three pieces, it is also a hit of blue under the uh, right arm as well that I do miss, that I have missed in the past. I was looking at the cardigan uh, when before they released it on their page. Can't really see that hit of blue under the right arm, but it is another hit of blue under the the right arm that's not too noticeable so they do have that as well overall getting a close look or having this piece in person i really do think that all the colors they use from all the different or the few different shades of red they use from the white the off whites the cream the hit of, even the hit of blue i think all the colors are used very well they contrast really well with each other and even though it's a piece that will stand out a lot when you go out or wear it with an outfit i think it is a piece that you can put on with a few different things depending on how you style it i really I'm curious to see how I can style this in different ways. Lastly, what I do want to point out about the cardigan specifically is how the shades of red do uh, blend in with the cream colors along the sleeve, bottom of the sleeve, and the bottom of the cardigan. I think it blends really nicely instead of having the cut off from the red to the cream, just to make the red and cream color blend very well. So I do want to point that out as well. As far as the comfortability of this cardigan, I will say this is definitely a piece that would be better to put on during the uh, spring and fall time. I did wear this one 
once and it was about 80 degrees i was in dc uh it was about 80 degrees and i got pretty hot wearing it so it's definitely a more fall or spring piece like i said but if the weather's around like 60 70 at least for me that's i would say that would be a comfortable temperature for me to wear it because the materials used on this piece it doesn't allow you to breathe as much as other cardigans that i do have so i will say that when wearing this but other than that it's pretty comfortable obviously i do want to wear it when the temperatures aren't as high to see how comfortable it can be but as far as the materials itself i think it is slightly slightly itchy but not an itch where you can't resist so i think it's overall obviously going to feel that itch from the materials but it won't be too bad when wearing this out so i do want to point that out about this piece the sizing on this i did go true to size on this piece i will say for me for my body type the uh sleeves and the shoulders were pretty much hugged my arms and shoulders uh all the way down from shoulder to my wrist um so it really really was a tight fit but not too tight so now i'm saying all this i don't know if they're going to re-release i know they did do a restock before but i don't know if they're going to do it again or what's the timetable on this but I'm saying that's just to, just to give you an idea if they do possibly and if you want this yourself yeah i got gotcha. you i'm looking out for y'all so yeah and obviously lastly like i've been saying if you want to cop this you can get it from no maintenance just like i just said i don't know if they're going to re-release or restock but if they do you do get this you can get this from no maintenance and then obviously for a piece like this it will obviously be definitely high in price but uh, i'm not justifying the prices of or convince you that it's okay for prices to be high we all have our own opinion that's just what the price is i bought it so that is pretty much it for this cardigan not going to be a long video just this one piece but i do want to share i do i did want to keep this series going as far as just uh featuring different pieces i got from different small brands just because i feel like it's different and it's a chance for me to make more videos even though they're not too long just to try something new different so i hope y'all enjoyed this cardigan obviously this cardigan is crazy honestly it's probably the most craziest cardigan i've seen that has been more accessible than other brands or you know the high fashion brands as far as their cardigans as well even though the price is still high, it's definitely more accessible and not as crazy in price as these high brands. So that'll pretty much do for this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all think of the cardigan down below. But that'll do. I'm out.